Hey guys and welcome to Tasmania TV. Today's video is an IKEA haul and it is the Ratty edition. Now as most of you guys probably know if you've followed me for a while, me and my boyfriend are rat folk. That means that we keep rats for pets and on May 25th we get four new little cute Dumbo boys. So I'm setting up our old cage with new all new stuff for them. Uh, right now it still has all the stuff left from our last little babies that are no longer with us. Um, so I just kind of wanted brand new things. And what better place to get these things than at Ikea? I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but get buying Sputniks and all these kind of designed cage interior thingies for your pets, uh, it gets pretty expensive. So Ikea is a perfect way of kind of getting around that and I love coming up with my own ideas for houses or staircases or whatever it might be. So you kind of walk into Ikea, head on over to the kids department because that's where they keep the good stuff and you just kind of pick a bunch of things and people are like, oh is that for your children? And you're like, my rat children. So yeah, I got one big bag stuffed with things, so let's take a look at what I got. Starting off with the basics, these are uh, baby washcloths or like mini towels. They cost literally nothing. Uh, I think I pay like 10 crowns for 10 of these or something like that. They're called Kroma, which means hug. So these are perfect for just, um, they're completely square, so you just put poke little holes in each corner and then put um, some kind of hook in them and just hang them and you can use them as hammocks for the rats. They're perfect and since rats like to gnaw and chew on stuff, since they don't cost much, it's totally fine to just use them a couple times and then throw them away. So I like that. I also picked up a set of slightly larger towels in blue, there's two of them in here, I think they are. Uh, they're 30 times 50 centimeters large, so that's for just a larger hammock. And if you if you have a pretty large, a high rat cage the way that we do, and your rats are kind of climbing around a lot, some rats are pretty clumsy and they will fall down. So you want to have hammocks hanging underneath so that they land softly. The little critters. Then I got one of these also in blue. Uh, this is one of those things that kind of comes to. I have to open it so you guys can see. It is called. P.S. Fongst, which kind of means ca capture, um, so it looks sort of like the cages you use to capture like crayfish, I guess. So it kind of comes down like this. <laughs> I have to zoom out. Like this, and it's really, really long right now, so it is way too long for the cage. Uh, so I'm gonna have to cut some of these off so I might keep like four or something so each of these is like a little play little playhouse just net they can bounce around and wrestle each other you can just stuff them with tissue paper and it's just yeah it'll be awesome <laughs> I think they're gonna love it this is fabrics it's just easy to cut the layers off so if if it is too long right now then I'll just take a couple stories off then I got one of these. Uh, these are called Kusinne, which means cousins. This video just turned out into Swedish lessons, didn't it? Learn IKEA Swedish with me. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so it contains three of these, and they're numbered one, two, three, as well. They're the spongy kind of thing, and they're see-through. So you can kind of keep them like this, or hang them, and the, again, just places for the rats to hide out. And it's good to have three because they will pee in these and chew through them, and they do have uh, metal kind of wires in them, so you have to keep a, a look out so that the rats don't bite through and kind of cut themselves on the wire. So as soon as they break through and the wire starts poking through the fabric, then I throw them away and just start with a new one. So I think these were three for like 30 Swedish crown or something like that. Then I picked up a little ball. The ball is called leka, which means play. So it's just soft ball, nice and sweet. I don't know, something to play with or trip over. I then picked up this thing. This is like a big ass thing that you're supposed to put like on your wall. This way. Um, you can put stuff on it and in it, and there are hooks underneath so you can hang stuff from it. Uh, my idea is to use this as a house for them, so 
it'll be like this and just fill it with stuff that they can play around in and maybe hang some fun stuff from the hooks. I really like these. They're super large, so I only got one. I was kind of thinking about getting two when I saw them on the website, but they're so big, so yeah. I'm just, I just got the one. Obviously in black, too. And then I walked over to the office department and I picked up two of these. These are just to put your pencils in. So I got them in pink. Um, no name for those? Alright. So again, just something to hide out in if you're a tiny little rat. Because they are made like of netting, so it's very easy to just uh, attach them to the cage using the kind of wire that you've seen me use in previews. Decorate for your rat videos. I then picked up this, which is called Småkrip, which is bugs, basically. <laughs> it is a water toy for toddlers, so you're supposed to put it in the... Whoops. Oh no, they're not attached to each other. I have to do that myself, oh my god. Um, oh, here we go. Yes, yeah, so you kind of just put them onto each other. like so and there's a frog the first one is a frog and you're supposed to keep them in the water and just like they can play with it but i thought i'd just hang them hang it in the cage and they can just play with these things and we'll see and if they do become rats that love water i'll just maybe put this like a floaty in the pool and they can climb around on it so i just thought it was fun i also got another toy from the kids department it's also le uh, called leka again which means play and it's one of those mobiles that you hang like over your toddler's bed and it's just it's got like bees and flowers and little cute things so i just thought it was adorable and it's something to play with for the rats Something that moves and oh my god, look at that little spider. So fat and cute. Another little bumblebee. Okay, I love these things. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna like hang that from the ceiling and they can just play with it or climb on it or do whatever rat boys do best. So three items left. First one is this. This is something that I picked up in the bathroom department. I think it's for putting soap. You just put it on the wall and then you can put your soap or your shampoo bottles or whatever on there. So it just makes a nice little shelf for the rats. Um, and it does have these holes in the back so it again makes it very easy to just attach it to the cage with wire. And then I picked up one of these. We use these for toilets or like a half floor, half story thing. And they already have holes on the sides here and here but we usually drill like in each corner as well to be able to really attach it. And then the final thing, um, I've been looking for new staircases for the cage. We've been using these wooden um, bathroom shelves, that, the kind that you, you're supposed to put across your bathtub and then you can have like eat in the tub or whatever you want to use it for. They're really great, they're super handy, but they're wood and I don't like wood, I think it's ugly. So they don't really go with anything else because everything else is colorful and plastic and playful and they're just ugh. Plus we've had them for ever. I think we got them with our second round of rats and that was years ago and they're kind of starting to be a bit gross. So I wanted to find other alternatives. I only got two. It turns out that they work well. I'm gonna get more. So these are like interiors for kitchen, your kitchen drawers. I don't know, you put your spoons on here or whatever. The, this little pattern here is in rubber, so it makes it easier for the little pots to, to climb up. So you can have them kind of steep if you want. So what we usually do for anything that will work is a stair. If there's no natural holes in the product, we like drill and then just attach them with wire. That is everything that I got. So it's time for me to start prepping the cage, removing all the old stuff, like shoving it into the shower and hosing it down, drying it off, and then putting all of these great things in. Uh, I might need to reuse some of the old things that we've used before. I'm not sure that this is going to be enough. We'll see. Uh, it, it would be fun to have the cage with all new things for the boys, but we'll see. So right now when I'm recording this, um, it's exactly two weeks before we get them. 
So they are four weeks old now, and there will be six weeks when we get them. If you guys have any questions about any of the stuff that I bought, just go ahead and ask me in the commentary. If you want, go check out the previous video that I made, which is called How to Decorate for Your Rats, I think. Um, I go a bit more into like how to attach the things to the cage, what to think of, la la la, things like that. And you get to see a, a different kinds of interior as well, because all of these things are brand new. Yeah, so with that said, I will be presenting the way everything looks in the new cage right after this. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And I will also obviously be doing an introduction video once we have the boys so you can get to meet them. But for now, here's what the cage looks like with all the new stuff in it.